Salvaging 18650 lithium batteries from old laptops can save a lot of money, but finding out if the batteries are reliable or what their capacity is is often hard to do. That's where this device comes in handy. It's a lithium cell discharger and calculator, meaning it discharges the cells at a current of your choice and calculates how long it takes, which gives you the cell's milliamp hour rating, which is its capacity. This device runs with a 5 volt USB micro port and comes with a really nice adjustable cell holder, which can be used with cells of all sizes. It also has a built in fan and a heatsink, but I found the fan never turns on during operation because I only just charge at 1 amp. In fact, during normal operation, mine barely got warm, which is really great. It's also really easy to use. We start by powering it with a 5 volt source through its micro USB port. Then we pull our cell in by pulling back the spring loaded lever on the cell holder. Now, if you want to know what the full capacity of your cell is, make sure to fully charge it before testing it. Once the cell's in, the 7 segment display should light up and show the voltage of the cell. From here, you can customize your discharge and cutoff rates. We do this by clicking the set button. This brings up the discharge cutoff voltage, which can be adjusted with the up and down buttons. I'm going to set mine to 3 volts as I don't want my cells discharging lower than 3 volts, as they are lithium. Now, this device will let you discharge to 0 volts, but if you're discharging lithium and you want to keep your house, maybe set the limit to 3 volts. So now that we've told the device what voltage we want it to stop discharging at, we need to tell the device what current to discharge the cell at. Now, it gives you four options. You can either discharge at 500 milliamps, 1, 2, or 3 amps, which is great. Once again, if you're doing this with lithium, I would recommend discharging at 1 amp, as it's a safer bet. Now that we've selected our cutoff voltage and discharging current, we can start discharging the cell. To do this, we click the on-off button. Now, once it's discharging, we can click the up or down button to see the current voltage, the time taken, and the milliamp hour rating. However, this information isn't that useful until we fully discharge the cell. So leave it for about an hour and a half. When the cell reaches your desired cutoff voltage, the device will stop discharging, beep multiple times, and the work light will go solid, meaning it's no longer discharging. Now we can click the down button to see the amp hour rating. For example, mine has a capacity of 970 milliamps, and we can click it again to see how much time it took to discharge. Mine took 47 minutes. So, with the information presented back by the device, I can see that the cell I salvaged does not have a great capacity, and I definitely won't be using it for future projects that draw a lot of power. Overall, I think this is a really great device. It's pretty cheap and does exactly what it's supposed to do really well. I found the data it gives is really accurate and it's really easy to use. If you want to pick one of these up, you can find a link to it and the lithium charger I used earlier in the video description. If you want to see more videos like this or projects like this, you can check out my YouTube channel or subscribe. And thanks so much for watching.